A Nobel laureate, Professor Wale Shoenka, says the proposed water resources bill is laced with ulterior motives to reintroduce Ruga initiative, which was rejected in the past. Professor Shoenka, who spoke on PLOS TV or PLOS Politics Live on Wednesday night, says just like many Nigerians, he is ready to engage the sponsors of the bill. He insists it is sectarian, divisive, and will lead to doom in the country. He urged Nigerians to resist the law. I mean, when you decide to take control of uh, a people's water resources, you literally telling them that their primary, the primary source for existence is in control centrally of a place which has no notion and no immediate uh, association with the environment over which it's legislated. Now, that's a very, very provocative kind of action. That's why I say if this bill is passed, this nation is doomed. Well, there's no other way in which I can describe it. <clears throat> when you take over the water resources of any society, of any country, any, any space, whatever, and you demarcate a certain distance from that water source, right, left, north, south, etc., it means you can do whatever you want on uh, that landed uh, estate, that uh, real estate. Um, we won't even begin talking about the, the fish in the water and all other uh, habitats of the, of the water. Let's look at the land alone. It means you can push a project like Ruga there and uh, nobody can complain because you've already taken that space over. And I find that outrageous. He also reacted to the signed amendment of the new Companies and Allied Matters Act, Kama 2020. You cannot, the government cannot say religious bodies should be subject to secular laws. No, that's wrong. Otherwise, you have a right, the religious bodies have a right to say, yes, yes, we're just another arm of governance, therefore we have a right to set up the orchestra. So we must reject this kind of mutual intervention. Now, there are laws, and those laws are constantly being applied. They cut the papers one day, and we find there is a rapist, a uh, Christian or Muslim, a pedophile, rapist or uh, uh, Muslim or Christian, etc., etc. And there are laws which take care of individuals. We have a robbery, we have malfeasance, we have misappropriation of funds, and the laws exist to take care of those. And then all the time people are talking Christianity, Islam. Are those the only religions in this nation? There is the religion of the Orisha, which preceded Christianity and Islam. So what about them? Well, what's, what's all this concentration on, on these foreign religions anyway? So everything is cockeyed. We've got to come together and really make up our minds what kind of a society we are. Are we a secular society? Or as some people like to, you know, like to pedantic and say, no, we're not secular, we're multi-religious. All right, let's say you're multi-religious. Multi-religious country, that means that those religions cannot speak to governors, vice versa, unless those religions flout the legal protocols of association bind us together. The government should please take their noses out of the businesses of those religious bodies. 